Good day, welcome back to Art with Alison. I'm just going to be doing a ring pour. I've been doing a few of these in these gorgeous colours uh, and I'm just going to be doing another one. Okay, so you might notice there's I've scraped up the paint that came off like I've I did this one yesterday and it's dried now and I've done a couple more today just now and it's it was getting quite a thick puddle there so I scooped all that up and just to show you like that's come up a beautiful blue so yeah there's no reason not to use what's poured off I mean I've seen some people just chuck it in the bin and it's like oh no but that's perfectly good paint so in fact I might use that in with the what I'm doing now so okay just to quickly go through the colors I've got Araldo Deep Sea I've got Araldo Cool Blue am I putting them in the right it's hard to see. I've got Araldo Metallic Paradise and what's the other one? Araldo Metallic Rainforest as well as white which is just the white I'm using is just British Paints house paint and except for the metallics and the white uh, they mixed approximately two parts Floetrol to one part paint and the base coat is a lot more Floetrol, probably at least three times the amount of Floetrol to paint plus you saw me squirt some water in. The metallics are approximately one to one with the Floetrol. You need to adjust it according to how it feels. Uh, I've just done a video on mixing paints so have a look at that if you want to know just how I mix my paints and it explains how the ratio we tell you is only a guide and then you need to feel and, and, and experiment and see how it flows etc to make sure that you are getting the right uh, amount for your consistency because it's a consistency that matters you want them to be more or less the same consistency and the same pour. All right, so I'm going to start with a dark colour because I want the dark colour to come out last. The noises you can hear are my dogs. They're, they've all crashed at the moment. They've been playing crazily and now they've gone into a deep sleep. So hopefully apart from snoring, they'll be quiet. Now the cool blue. And the metallic paradise, which is a gorgeous pale metallic blue. And I might just put some white in now. This white is approximately two to one flow troll to paint. Um, do the cool blue again. Now I might just use the the mix paint, all these paints mixed together colour, which is just gorgeous. There's no reason not to use that. And this one, it's like a deep green with a bit of blue in there. off with this one. Should give me plenty of paint for this small canvas. This is just a 8 inch by 8 inch or 20 centimeter by 20 centimeter canvas. So I'll start off in the middle and do circles. 
might try and get a bit closer to the canvas as it helps the colours to be more separated than if you're doing it from up high, they tend to mix a bit more. And then you need to just bring it up slightly to get your finger under there to stop it quickly, otherwise it can drip as you're taking it away. And look already we're getting some nice cells coming up. This table should be level but it doesn't appear to be. Uh, it's my kitchen bench, uh, the island bench. Alright, so just give this a little torch. The torching helps to, first of all, to pop any bubbles that are in the paint or do some of them. It also helps the different paint densities. Even though you've mixed them to the same kind of consistency, there'll still be different densities of paint pigment and that makes some paint rise up above the other paint, which is how we get these, what are called cells, these little bubbles of colour or white. So you don't, you don't want your torch to be burning the paint, so you're going to keep it moving either in circular directions or if you're sort of going on a, in the direction of your paint, sort of do it like that. But don't let it sit in one place or you might burn your paint. That's plenty. Just giving it that bit of time to help anything to happen. That it is good for this sort of pour to have too much paint rather than not enough paint because it just helps you to stretch your cells out so they get a bit bigger. And I'll come around to this other corner. You do lose what's on the edges but that's just what happens. I think it's always a good idea to bring it back to the middle. That helps stop it from becoming all jiggity jaggedy. I'll go out to that corner. Let that run over. Sometimes you just need to coax it along a bit. Bring it back to the middle. And then keep it going to the other corner. Flow over, bring it back to the middle. I'll just tip it off that corner over there, it didn't quite go over before. And bring it back, oh, it still hasn't quite gone over, might need to give it a bit of coaxing. I don't really want to lose my centre bit there. Wow, those colours are just gorgeous. So I just bring it back slowly. If I do it too quickly, it does make everything distort a bit more. Even though I, I do, you know, I don't, I'm not one to want perfectly round cells. I, I quite like a bit of character in it, but. Depends what you're after, really. I'll just try and which I might not. I can always cover that with a bit of paint after. I'm quite liking the difference of the um, darkness down this corner and the lightness at the other corner. I'll just let it gradually come down here a little bit more, though. I think. But I don't want to tip it too quickly. Sometimes we just have to be a bit patient. That'll do that nicely. And then just, just take the paint back because you don't want your paint to be much thicker in one area than another for when it's drying because then you can have your paint.
paint cracking on you and you don't want that. Look at all that lovely cells underneath. <laughs> all right, so that's quite pretty. Yeah, I'm just loving these colors. And I'm loving the cells that are happening. There's no silicon whatsoever in these paints. And I'm getting all these beautiful cells coming up. All right, so I'll just wipe my hands and bring you in for a close-up. Look at those colours. Doesn't that middle bit look gorgeous? It's almost, almost looks pinky. Not quite sure why. There's some gorgeous cells in here. Going into that, going into that blue almost looks perfect on this, next to the green. That's really pretty. I have a Facebook group called Acrylic pouring and more for all artists at all levels. So, yeah, I'd love you to join and um, share what you're doing and be a part of this growing group. And, yeah, thanks heaps for watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'd love you to push the like button if you've enjoyed this video. And, yeah, if you want to hear when I do more videos, that little bell at the side. All right, thanks, Seats, for watching again, and talk to you again. Bye for now.